The entrance to Roosevelt Hospital is on 10th Avenue between West 58th and 59th Streets. After entering the building, come directly to the fourth floor and follow the signs to Suite 4G. Hi, welcome back. A team of staff members will be on hand to help with the admission process. Hey, how is everybody today? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Everything is done right here for you. So the same folks you meet in the morning, the nurses and physicians, will be with you throughout the entire process. First, it establishes a rapport and a relationship, and most importantly, it really gives trust. Trust amongst the family, the patient, and the caregivers that are caring for your child or yourself that day. How's Sophia? How are you? It's a big day. Yes. On the day of your procedure, you'll be taken to a holding area where you will be prepped for treatment. A registered professional nurse will perform a patient assessment which may include taking your temperature, blood pressure, additional vital signs, and blood tests. You'll also receive a vital patient information folder and be asked to sign consent forms by your doctor. The mask, and that's what puts her to sleep, right? She'll breathe in the gas. Yeah, and it takes she'll about go to sleep. 10, 15. Another very important person you'll speak with is the anesthesiologist. These doctors are experienced in what it takes to put you or your child to sleep safely and to assist your treating physician during the procedure. Oh, you're such a big girl. This skill and knowledge is especially important when the patient is a child. We recognize that children are not simply small adults. When they come in, they're afraid, they're confused. It might be a very new environment for them, or they might be returning and actually have some memory of that they were here before. So we treat them differently, and every kid is special. We know when the children come in based upon their age what needs they really have. So if I have a young child who might be toddler age, um, crayons, coloring books are available. We even have a wagon that we can bring them into the operative suite with so they can actually have a ride. When it's time for the procedure, you'll be taken to the catheterization suite. There, you will lie on the treatment table that incorporates high-resolution 3D x-ray and fluoroscopy systems that will guide your doctors during treatment. Parents may stay with their child until they are safely asleep. This state-of-the-art complex has a control room where all aspects of your case are continually and carefully monitored. After the treatment is over, adults go to our ICU for recovery. We have a special recovery area for kids called the PICU. That stands for Pediatric Intensive Care Unit. The PICU and Adult ICU are specifically designed to care for patients who have undergone endovascular procedures. Both are staffed by highly trained professionals. At the PICU, in addition to a full-time child life specialist, we also have a professional clown to help bring a smile to our young patients and their parents. Some of our best therapists have four legs. Pet therapy is increasingly recognized to be beneficial for patients of all ages. These are just a few examples of how the Inn strives to make your child's hospital experience as pleasant and non-traumatic as possible. Um, parents can stay with their children here, one parent in the ICU overnight. We do have some lazy boy recliners, so they're more than welcome to sleep in as well with their child and be part of the whole process. All of the staff at the center hopes that this video has helped you understand your condition and what to expect during your stay. But you certainly have more questions. The doctors, nurses, and staff are here to answer them. Your physicians will gladly explain anything you don't understand. Everybody's here because we want to be. Um, this is a place where we really feel we can give quality, compassionate care that's given no other place in the world.